Okay, so now we're going to talk about the three-way valves. And this is the Cadillac of the three-way valves. It's the top of the line. Why well, I say it's the top of the line? Because it uses a remote control to be able to divert the water either to the gray water system or back to the sewer system. Um, basically, the inlet comes through here. This is the outlet to the gray water system. And this goes down to the sewer system. So when you hit the remote control, it'll either close the, the actuator right here to allow the water to back up and go out to the gray water system and then out to the, to the yard. Or you open it up, it goes straight down into the sewer system. Now, why would you want to go down to the sewer system? We talked about it before, but when you're doing cleaning the, the, the shower with a Comet or some type of harsh chemical, you don't want that going to your lawn or to your landscape. So in that case, you want to open the valve and let the water just flow straight through into the sewer system and let the, let the municipality clean that water and before it gets dumped out into the ocean or someplace else. So this is the top of the line. So we'll now move to the next one. The second is a three a valve like this. And it, you, with this particular three a valve, you're able to turn the different directions of where you want the water to go. Typically you have the water come in one direction and it'll go out to, let's get this right. It's going to come out and go go out to the gray water system, or you're going to close this portion off right here, and it's going to then go straight out to the sewer system. Um, you can configure it multiple ways. It, I mean, that's just one of the ways. Another way would be that it goes out to the gray water this way and comes out to the sewer system this way. It's just how the plumbing is is designed, and we'll kind of show you to how you might want to reposition this to different locations depending on your plumbing. Um, this particular system also can have what's called an actuator put on top of it. So it's almost like the top of the line one, but this inserts a actuator and this actuator will turn the handle depending on the command that's sent through this wire. Now what we've done is we've connected this wire to a irrigation controller that's on your phone. So this way, if you're on your phone, you can say, okay, I need to divert this water to the sewer system and you're able to hit a couple buttons on your phone and then it, it sends it out to the to the sewer or you switch it back and switch switches it back to the gray water system. It's a nice feature, especially when you're away from the house and you have a lot of guests coming over and you go, oh man, I forgot to switch that gray water system back to the sewer because I have too many people in the house and it's just going to get my yard too wet. So that's one of the cases that's happened recently. And... The owner called me up, told me, hey, you know, what do I do? What do I, how do I turn this? I go, well, go to your control panel on your phone, hit zone number three, turn it on, and that diverted it to the sewer system. So that was the next one. So these, this, these, these go separately, or you can add an actuator to it to control it, and then connect this to your, your um, controller that we're going to show you. Or that we showed you. Now... This is a simple system. I like this system because it's very easy to use. It's, it's very logical. You open and you close. So it's just a gate valve, open, close. So how would you use this? Well, this is my trap and this is the water coming down from the shower. So it's coming through here. We install a T right there. Let me get that on there. So what we do, we install a T right here, and now this portion of the gate goes down here on this portion down here. So when it's open, what happens is that the water flows from your shower or your bathtub, comes through here, comes through all, all along here, and then comes down and exits out into the sewer system. But when I want to use for gray water, I just close it, and what happens is the water comes up, it backs up and then comes back out into the gray water system. So that's how we use it. It's just very simple, it's very easy. What's nice about it is that we then extend this arm, which you can get the extension, a long rod at Lowe's as well. And we extend this all the way out to the outside and we drill a hole. And so that way when you're 
from the outside of the house, you actually have this handle sticking out there and you just open it to know that the, sh the water goes down to the sewer or you close it and that makes it back up and go into the great water system. Very easy, very easy to manage. You can get it in different positions. So we like this particular idea. And out of all these things that we've done, this is probably the one that we always go back to is this gate, the simple gate valve. So, so some of the disadvantages of this particular item is that because it has a remote control, well, remote controls have to be generate or have to be powered by some type of power. And so you have to think about the electrical box that needs to be put underneath the house so that this can drive this particular um, actuator. And also the electric box that needs to be put up by where the remote control is going to be at so they can talk to each other. So, and then there's a wire that runs all the way from here to the remote control box. So there's a lot more electrical aspects to it when you utilize this particular product. Um, it is a great product. We like it. It's just that it takes a lot more pre-planning. We will utilize this typically in new developments and where you have a new house and that, that homeowner is really conscious about the environment and wants to put all the bells and whistles up front while they're building the house. So on this, this item right here, it's very similar as well, is that you have to think about the power, but not so much at the device itself, the actuator, when it sits on this three-way valve because this cord will run all the way to the landscape controller that controls the valves that are gonna send gray water to one zone or to another zone. So, but you have to think about the power over there where that, where that controller's at. So it still needs power, but this power is at 12 volts. And so it can be driven off of a, a simple sprinkler system with 12 volts to move this particular device out. This Gray water valve with a handle on it. The disadvantage on this particular item is that, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like these little notches down there and it has to be pulled back and twisted. We typically don't like to put this type of handle anymore that with the, with the, with the, with the pull back and twist because a typical homeowner or person who hasn't been taught about the gray water system will go in there and they'll just twist the hell out of this handle and think it's stuck and they'll just break this handle off. That's what they do. And they don't know, realize, hey, let me look at this. Let me figure out how this works. No, they just twist it and break it and it's done. So we have to replace that whole head. Um, this particular system, we haven't found any problems with it today. Um, we use it quite a bit. What's nice about it is that if for some reason the seal breaks in there and you have to say is that you can take off these nuts and you can pull this apart and you can put in a new seal and then screw it all back together. So it's, it has, it can be repaired sometime in the future, you know. Well, there is, there is one problem that we've had with this particular item is that when you take this handle off to get to, to, to put extended rod to go all the way out to the, to the outside, this thing is tough to take off. You have to get a pair of pliers or channel locks to lock this one in and then twist this one, but you can't scratch this up because then it won't slide in that, it won't slide easily. So you have to, you have to hold it tight and put a piece of cloth over it, and clamp it, and then twist this off. They're, they're put on very, very tight. So just know that you're going to have a, a tough time. It's typically a, a two person job, one holding it, the, the rod and the, the unit while the other one. We'll show you how to do it, by the way. And if worst case comes, you could uh, just break the sock, but we'll show you that in the future. So. Click on the description below to find out where to buy the products. We also have links to instructions to how to build a great water system. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. We would also love to hear your questions and also share how you prevent climate change. Put those in the comment section as well.